Hi, this is Isha from EQ Magazine, India's oldest and leading solar media. And today we have Mr. Manish with us from Jinko Solar. A very warm welcome to you, sir. Thank you very much. As you know, like many of the international brands are coming up in India and setting up and uh, they are more uh, like into the solar industry now. And uh, they are coming up in association with the Indian manufacturers as well. So how much competitive it will be and uh, like how much challenging and opportunities we can get? So I think it's a very, very important question in today's perspective. All the companies have so far uh, given its best to make sure that they stay ahead in terms of technology, they get maximum output from their production lines, uh, the lines should not stay idle because if the lines are idle, you know, you don't get the best of revenues. At the same time, you know, your order book should be full. If there is uh, no uh, product available, no policy available, the lines may stay idle and it will not be a good situation for the developers as well as for the manufacturers. So what Jinko is doing, Jinko is constantly upgrading itself. Jinko is constantly expanding its uh, manufacturing base. So initially, for at least four to five years, we were only having our base within China. We have three plants in China. But now, uh, over the last three to four years, we have started the manufacturing in Malaysia. We have now two plants in Malaysia. And also last year, we have opened another factory in Florida, in USA. So by way of this, we are trying to reach out to all the corners of the world. We are also tying up with many developers who are giving us long-term orders, which is ensuring that we continue to expand. Same way, uh, Indian uh, competitors or Indian manufacturers are also adopting all the new technologies. So far, you know, Jinko has been the leader in technology transition. We are leading the technology curve. Uh, whenever we launch a new product or new technology, uh, we get good references. We get a lot of, uh, you know, uh, acceptance by the global uh, developers and then the world starts following those technologies and that becomes the mainstream and that becomes cost effective also. So I guess all the competition, whether Indian, global have to go hand in hand and it is a kind of a indirect collaboration rather than a direct collaboration, I would say. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks a lot for being with us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.